Welcome to our tutorial on how to install Scala on your system. So, if, so you can actually get started on developing Scala applications. What you need to do is go to your website, uh, scala-lang.org forward slash downloads. So what you need to do basically is um, download either one of these depending on which system you are on. Um, I'm on a Windows system, so I'm gonna download the MSI, the .msi file. So once, just click on that, download it, and once that is actually done, you should be able to run it. All right, so here's here's my setups. Scala 2.9.2. So when you click on that, it should allow you to actually install. All right, so mine is already installed, so I'm, I'm just gonna click on change. So you see here, it, it allows you to install the core Scala language. It allows you to actually update the system path so that you are able to run the Scala from your command line. And you can also install the documentation plus the example code for Scala. So just click on next and let it install for you. Once that is done, you should be able to go to your command line. And by typing Scala, you should be able to access the Scala interpreter. You see there, welcome to Scala version 2.9 to um, type in expression to have them evaluated and so on so in here you can actually now type in expressions and the and the scala interpreter basically evaluates those exp expressions um the most famous expression every programming language hello world so it allows it prints out for you hello world and so on so once once you're able to do this at least you know that your scala has been installed and it's working fine um what you can do next basically is either get an editor so you can actually run your or write your scala code Right now I'm using Sublime Text 2 and also sometimes I use Eclipse so just for beginners probably it's best that you use Eclipse or something, or something similar or an ID that actually allows you to code easier. Uh, if you're ready for an Eclipse editor basically what you need to do is uh, to set it up for Scala development, you need to go to Windows and how to help, and then install new software. And what you basically do is uh, go to the scala-ide.org, and from there you should be able to actually see what you need for setting it up with uh, Eclipse. So go to download, stable, release, and when you go down, you can see that for Scala 2.9, which is what you install since you have 2.92, just copy this URL here. Then what you need to do is actually add that URL to the, let's say, Scala 2.9, and then add that URL. So I already have that URL in my in my archive, as you can see, duplicate location. But once you add that URL, probably so once you set it up and you say okay, all our uh, distributions here, just click on select select all of them. Click on select all. Click on next and let it install for you. So mine is already installed. That will basically give you access to
Scala project. So it will allow you to actually create a Scala project. So if you see Scala wizards, you say next, say test Scala. I should allow you to create actually a Scala file. You can see Scala, when you say new, create new Scala class, you can create a new Scala trait, Scala objects, you can create a Scala application and so on. So what we want to basically do for now is create a Hello World project. So create a Scala object, which basically creates a singleton object. So if I say Hello World, and I say hello, the name of my application. I want it to have a main method. So what this will do basically is create an object, a singleton object of an anonymous class called hello. That is like created anonymously behind the scenes. So, so the name of my object is called hello. So all you want to do here is actually just print hello world. So when I run that, it's a Scala application. It should print out hello world. And so that's how you set up your Scala application. I'm um, Scala development on Eclipse, and also for hope you are able, able to use the Scala interpreter on the command line to actually run Scala comments and Scala expressions.